What are the steps one must take in order to invest the proper way? How can someone minimize his risk and maximize his potential returns? In this video, I'll give a brief and easy step-by-step -step guide which one must do when he is starting his investment journey. As always, always set with educational purposes and is not meant to be taken as financial advice. The stock market can be a great way to grow your wealth and reach your financial goals. However, it can also be intimidating and confusing, especially if you're new to investing. In this session, we'll guide you through the basics of investing in the stock market, including saving money, finding a company and value investing. Saving money is an important step towards investing in the stock market. Before you start investing, you need to have a solid foundation of savings to fall back on in case of unexpected expenses or financial difficulties. Experts recommend having at least 3 to 6 months worth of expenses saved in an emergency fund. This fund should be easily accessible and not invested in the stock market. You can save money by cutting expenses such as eating out less, cancelling unnecessary subscriptions or negotiating your bills. You can also increase your income by taking on a side job, selling items you no longer need or asking for a raise at work. When it comes to finding a company to invest in, you have several options. You can start by looking at companies you're familiar with and use their products and services. This approach can help you understand the company's business model and potential for growth. You can also look at companies in industries that interest you, such as healthcare, technology or energy. Another approach is to use stock screeners, which are online tools that allow you to search for stocks based on specific criteria, such as market capitalization, price to earnings ratios or dividend yields. Some popular stock screeners include Yahoo, Google Finance and Finviz. Value investing is a popular investment strategy that involves buying stocks that are undervalued by the market. To determine if a stock is undervalued, you need to calculate its intrinsic value, which is the true value of the company based on assets, earnings and growth potential. One way to calculate intrinsic value is to use the discount cash flow method, which involves projecting the company's future cash flows and discounting them to their present value. Another approach is to use the price to earnings ratio, which compares a company's stock price to earnings per share, a low P.E. ratio indicates that the stock is undervalued, while a high P.E. ratio indicates the stock is overvalued. Diversification is an important aspect of investing in the stock market. By spreading your investments across different types of assets, such as stocks, bonds and real estate, as well as different industries and companies, you can reduce your risk and protect your investments from market volatility. One way to diversify your portfolio is to invest in exchange-traded funds, ETFs, which are a type of investment fund that holds a diversified portfolio of stocks or bonds. Another approach is to invest in mutual funds, which are similar to ETFs, but are actively managed by professional fund managers. When it comes to investing in the stock market, there are many investment strategies to choose from. Some investors prefer a passive approach, such as index fund investing, where they invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks that tracks the performance of the overall market. This approach can be a good option for beginners who are just starting out with investing. Other investors prefer an active approach where they actively manage their portfolio and make investment decisions based on market trends, company news and other factors. This approach requires more time and expertise but can potentially generate higher returns. In conclusion, investing in the stock market can be a great way to grow your wealth 
and reach your financial goals. However, it is important to start with a solid foundation of savings and educate yourself on the basics of investing. By finding a company that aligns with your values and investing in a diversified portfolio, you can help protect your investments from market volatility and increase your chances of success. Remember, investing in the stock market is a long-term game, so be patient and stay focused on your goals. Thank you for joining us today, subscribe to the channel and make sure you watch my other stock and portfolio analysis videos. Goodbye for now and until the following lecture.